Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guys. So today's holster review is ultra special because we're going to be looking at two holsters, both from Holster Giants Bravo Concealment. So the first one is the Torsion Inside the Waistband Holster. This is often marketed as an AIWB, but in my opinion that A should stand for anywhere inside the waistband because you can wear this holster pretty much anywhere from 12 o'clock all the way down to like 4 or 5 o'clock. So I'm going to be showing you that and then also their BCA 3.0 outside the waistband also. This is probably what I consider to be the best outside the waistband holster um, that I've ever tested. I can't say on the market because I haven't tested every single holster on the market. Admin wise, this firearm is empty and safe. Obviously I do review holsters with the mag inside the firearm. That is also empty. So I'm going to be starting off with the torsion. I'm going to be covering it in my usual concealment, comfortability and retention. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the BCA 3.0. And then after that, we're going to discuss like special features. There are a lot of special features about both these ulcers. So definitely stay tuned to the end. Um, clips, uh, wings, molding. It's all amazing on these ulcers and all different. So... Definitely keep an eye out for that as we go through the video. Let's have a look. Okay guys, so as I said, we're gonna kick things off with the torsion. And I have to be honest, for all so that has no claw, I'm really impressed with the level of concealment you can get just by dropping it in, into the appendix position. Now I'm running this with a single clip. And I know there's often controversy around a single clip. I'm gonna to talk to you about this clip because it is really, really special. It's probably one of the best designed clips I've ever come across. But from a concealment perspective, for also with no claw, I have to be honest, I'm extremely impressed with the level of concealment you are able to get. Now, it does have like a wing type uh, situation on the holster, which talks the holster into you. And I will talk about that as we go through the video, but have a quick look at this. So, I've moved the holster from the appendix position to the strong side position. And you get the exact same high level of concealment. Look at how the holster is talked into my body. That's where they, I think that's where they get that torsion name. And like I said, I am going to talk to you about how they achieve that. But you get absolute perfect concealment regardless of where you wear this holster anywhere on your waistband, which is really, really impressive. I think this is probably the first from the ground up holster designed for anywhere inside the waistband. And I have to say, they've kind of got it right. You know, it's, it's really, really good. Comfortability wise, there really isn't any problem. The, this particular holster only caters for the base fire without a weapon light, but I'll show you later on, they use as little materials as possible, even for clip placement. They, they have designed and shaped and molded their holsters that there is as little holster inside your waistband as possible. And I believe that is what not only aids in concealment, but definitely aids in comfortability. And on the retention aspect or the retention side of things, you get a very light, friction retention it does have a nice retention click which i'll try to get on mic for you there you go but you sort of feel the holster all the way sliding in and it clicks into place and removing it is really easy the retention on this is non-adjustable but it's kind of with most holsters that just cater for the base volume it's kind of exactly where you want it to be easy in easy out but it does have enough retention to be able to hold the firearm in place, which is important. So guys, before I move on, I wanna talk about this clip and I'm gonna do a quick demonstration for you. So please excuse the rather crude change of attire. This is an old Gracie Jiu Jitsu fight shorts that really has seen better days. Now it's not tied too tightly as you can see, but have a look at what happens when I drop in the torsion holster. So this, this tall shorts has no belt on it and I'm just gonna drop the holster in. There you go. And so this clip is effectively sitting on nothing. There's, there's no belt on this, this shorts. Drawing the firearm, not a problem. Reholstering, not a problem. Drawing, not a problem. Reholstering, not a problem. But more so, I'm gonna take the firearm out of the holster and try to pull the holster off my pants. Now, have a look at that. I'm sort of, so this is as hard as I can pull and it can still go further, but it's getting a bit uncomfortable. Single clip on this holster is able to achieve it. Now this clip is really intelligently designed. It's got a tooth or a grip wedge or whatever you want to call it. Once cinched down onto a belt or on simply on any kind of material, it's going absolutely nowhere. Very, very clever. This clip put on correctly is pretty much acts as a belt loop, which is so clever because as you know, there are, there's a lot of controversy around the single clip 
designs. Uh, people say the screen clip fails and what comes out with the holster. You are absolutely not going to have that with this particular holster and with this particular clip. So guys, generally with a strong side holster, you lose a bit of concealment. But have a look at the level of concealment on this BCA 3.0 holster. It's pretty much like, I don't know, it looks like I'm not really wearing anything at all. So I'm going to tuck my t-shirt in, but just like have a look at how aggressively this holster is pulled into my, my body. I'm going to tuck my t-shirt in quickly and I'll explain to you more about how that is achieved. Now tucking my t-shirt into my pants kind of shows you why you get that good level of concealment. Look at how intensely the holster is pulled over this way. And that's got to do with how the belt loops are situated and designed as well as a built-in 10 degree cant. Now we'll show all of this to you up close in, in the next segment of the video. But this alt has a 50-50 design which means 50% of the firearm touches your body and 50% of the firearm is away from your body. But the way the belt goes through the loop effectively means that it's pulled into you more aggressively. The belt literally bends around the holster in order to get a, as close to your body as possible. Obviously comfortability on an outside the waistband also is always going to be way more comfortable than any other carry methodology. So there's absolutely no issue there. But what I do want to talk about guys is the retention. This holster's retention. The best way I can describe it is imagine when reholstering your firearm rides on like a pocket of air. That's what it feels like. It feels so incredibly smooth when reholstering. It's like this holster is airtight, which it obviously isn't, but it's designed so perfectly and the inside is polished so beautifully that when sliding it in, you let's just listen to this. You can't really even hear the firearm sliding against the kydex. That's how smooth the inside of this kydex is. And the retention click, it's like a pop. It's got this amazing smooth, just really tactile, beautiful little pop as it pops into place. The molding on this holster is also second to none. It is the most beautifully molded holster I've ever seen. I'm going to chuck in some close-ups and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this holster, I don't know anything about holster making. I don't know anything about holster manufacturing. But the way they made this holster is just a cut above everything else I've seen so far. Okay, so let's get into some of the up-close nitty-gritties of these two holsters, starting with the torsion. I'll get the firearm out of the way. And the first thing I want to talk about is the clip. Have a look at the, the design of the clip. It's got sort of a raised situation over here. So it goes over your trigger guard area, but you don't have those two spaces over here which raise the clip up, which adds like a bit of bulk. That is sort of the first level of power of designability of Bravo concealment, if that's a good way to describe it. Secondly, take a look at the holster itself. And now another clip goes on this area over here. And instead of them designing the holster to have a whole extra piece of kydex, they simply added a wing. Now this wing is angled. And I will show you guys some close-ups of that. So this wing kind of presses up against your body and it talks the holster inwards. And I think that's where they get that name torsion because this basically pushes, like I said, pushes up against your body and it pulls the holster inwards. So you don't need any kind of claw, which is really cool and makes the holster like really small. So think about it in terms of that, like my whole hand, my hand can cover this whole holster effectively. That obviously adds with to comfortability, concealment, and as I've always said, economy of design is very important. And so have a look at this. This is effectively the second clip that would go onto this area over here. Instead of them having to put a full size clip on here, they just designed a little mini clip, which works perfectly as a clip would function. You can see that it's got a little tooth on there, which helps to with, with retaining it on the belt or the pants or whatever it is you are hooking this onto. But what I really like is they just added a small clip onto it. You know, they didn't, they didn't go with the standard clip design. They sort of made their own, designed their own. And so now you've got a much smaller, much more compact clip that goes perfectly onto this wing. The holster obviously has a port for a threaded barrel built into it. Now, Sep, different to the BCA, this holster, a lot less of the firearm is against your body. As you can see, sort of look at the split over here. All the firearm away, say about 10% of the firearm against your body. 
which also adds for comfortability. Okay guys, so now onto the BCA 3.0 outside the waistband holster. As I said, I consider this to be the best outside the waistband holster I've ever seen. Let's start off at the bottom. Obviously, you've got a built-in port for the threaded barrel, 50-50 split between the fire on between your body and away from your body. You've got a built-in 10 degree cant. Now you can cant it more or cant it less simply by flipping these belt loops around. As you see, I've got a bit more of a cant on mine. That's how I like it. If you want it on a full flat setup, you can, which is basically having the holster and the fire sit completely vertical inside the holster. But effectively, all you have to do is switch the, the clips around. And then your retention, very clever again from Bravo. They've got a little screw over here. You just raise and lower that and tighten it. And basically what that does is it increases and decreases your retention. Straight out of the box, the retention is set pretty perfectly with the best tactile retention click of any holster I've ever come across. I know I've been saying that a lot during holster review months, but the holster have just been getting better and better. But this particular holster's retention is so extremely smooth and so extremely nice. I, I just wish like all my buddies, I could like have them over and all come and try this holster and then they'd probably order from Bravo Concealment almost immediately. The molding on the holster, I don't know how it's achieved, but they are able to put, to, to sort of emboss their name on the, the, the trigger guard area, as well as the type of firearm the solster caters for on the sweat guard. The material is absolutely solid. There's literally no, like, there's no bendability in this material at all. It maintains its shape perfectly. And just the best outside the waistband holster I've ever come across. And this is gonna take like, this is gonna take some beating. If you're outside the waistband carrier and you're by the means to get a Bravo concealment holster, this is the holster you want to get for sure beyond any shadow of a doubt. And I say that with great trepidation because as you know, I'm, I try not to ever be absolute and everything on the channel is an opinion. So let me rephrase that. It is my opinion, but it's a very strong opinion that this is an amazing outside the waistband holster. They also sent me a really cool mag carrier. Again, their design and their, their, their finishing is absolutely perfect. Look at the polished seams on this, this mag carrier. It's also curved, so it sort of sits nicely against your body. And you can adjust the retention on that little retention screw over there. Everything pretty much Bravo Concealment does is at an extremely high level. They have like one level and I like to call it perfect. Okay guys, so just a few more things about Bravo Concealment. When you purchase these holsters, you get these cool little pamphlet style things. So this is for the torsion and it like explains exactly what you can and can't do with the holster, what you get with the holster, little extras you can get with it, sort of how to mount your holster, how to change the cant. This is on the, this is for the BCA and this is for the mag pouch they sent me. That's really cool because it just means you get the most out of your gear without having to play around and figure things out. You might miss something. These holsters today are becoming so incredibly cleverly designed that you actually can miss things. I want to say a massive thank you to Brianna at Bravo Concealment. She's the person I've been dealing with. They are like an absolute dream to deal with. They literally sent me a mail and said, look, go onto our site, pick what you want. And like a week and a half later, it was here in South Africa. And that's shipping from Texas in the USA. Absolutely amazing service. Very, very quick. Their service is pretty much like the holsters, second to none. And so once again, guys, the torsion and the BCA holster, Love the innovation, love the design, love the risk taking of trying things that's no, that no one else is trying. That's effectively what drives excellence is innovation and the confidence to, to, to innovate and try new things. So massive thank you to Bravo Concealment. I really hope we can get more gear from them and I hope they can sort of get more gear to South Africa so that more people can understand um, what the guys in the US are doing and the amazing things that they are doing. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good week. I hope you enjoyed the review. Cheers. God bless.